Welcome back to Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Yakuza 3 with Jad Peanut. Hey! Are you ready to leave the monitor room? Might as well. Yep. Save Rikia. Oh, that's actually you. Save Rikia. What are you guys sitting around having fun for? Adam Sandler's in danger! Bring up, Q, son. I saw you in there bring those fists of yours at the boss. Pretty dang impressive, I gotta say. Is Sorry. this really the time for this? Sorry, Nishida. I'm kind of in a hurry here. Oh, right. Guess I'll let you go then. Hey, but before you do, we're dusting off the old Coliseum and opening it back up for full-time business. I haven't seen the boss this pump since the time he gave me acupuncture. Anyway, we got a lot of beefy fighters signed up, so drop by and take a few swings when you get the chance. Thanks, I won't do that. <laughs> Thanks, Nishida. I will not do he that. He won't. Yeah, narrator voice. He won't. Mm -hmm. You can save that game. Yeah, I'm doing that now. Not just because we're at a pivotal moment, but also because uh, I'm still under the thunderstorm watch. Oh, it yeah, it, it turned. Oh boy. It doesn't sound as intense as it did earlier, but I still hear it. And then it'll be your problem in a couple hours. Now use the Majima family office as a hideout. Cool. Adam Sandler's in danger. This is hardly the time to tell me this stuff. Oh yeah, a lot of indie developers on Twitter have been uh, complaining about uh, Sony's practices. So as they're calling it out of form again, we are again blacklisted platform X. Hmm. The snake flower thugs are probably all over the place by now. Should I head out? Go save Rakia. This soon, Rakia. Find Rikia! I'm sorry, but did oh. I just hear a wolf? Oh, hmm? uh, hey, baby. You want to see my uh, snake flower member? So I'm just reading more about this story cause it's, it's a bit shocking. I'll have to look into it later. You know, kind of doing a show. Nice. <laughs> Hearing the repetitive death cries get brought up effects of Soul Calibur memories. Which is always one of my favorite things in the Soul Calibur games. Constantly hitting somebody after they already lost, and then to hear the same death cry over and over again. Always a riot. I think Tekken does that too now. Mm -hmm. Or they always have. I mean, Tekken's basically just Soul Calibur without, without the weapons. Where are Lau and Rakia? I... I don't know. Do I have to beat it out of you? Please, I'll tell the truth. Only officer know where boss is. And where can I find this officer? Not far ahead. He stand out because of clothes. 
damn it. All right, I better not see you around here again. I need to track down this officer. Hmm. Yeah, this is where we get this banging at ass Yakuza music again. That's the first time I ever went up against an armed opponent that uh, ended better for me. And I didn't get shot. Yeah, it was somehow less bullshit than the other guys with guns you face. At least we're not in a tower and they're uh, with stairs being blocked by a guy, a guy with a sofa. Mm -hmm. You must be the snake flower officer. Tell me where your boss is. Sorry, that not happening. Instead, you die! Mm. Yeah, it's starting to seem like uh, Sony might be relying less on uh, indie developers now. That sounds like something they've been doing for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Uh, well, the story I was reading about the lack of communication with indie developers and the whole uh, bureaucracy they have to go through just to get the development kit or even promotion seems really bad. Yeah, it, it, it does suck. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know it's some blood on them fish. Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Oh, oh boy. Oh shit. Oh yeah, have we yet talked about how some somehow one episode of the series like hit like nearly 200 views? Yeah, then it went down to 164 views. Which I don't understand how that happened, but thank you to everybody that yeah, watched. Yeah, me neither. I mean, where the hell did you guys come from? Where, and please tell me you haven't gone. Stick around, there'll be plenty of more moments where I annoy John during his frustrating more, gameplay more, moments. And more things will fly into NPCs' mouths, I assure you. <laughs> oh. You know, provided, oh, provided in the cutscene, I see somebody else with their gaping mouth open. I'm almost kind of hoping it happens, because I think I've already decided what I'm going to do next. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got it planned. I'm just waiting for the right moment. There's a bike. You want to go for a bicycle ride? Well, the bicycle's going to ride your body! <laughs> oh shit, he is blacking a lot. No. Oh. oh, there we go. Does he? Oh yeah, people are speculating about um, this new update in the haunted mansion, mainly because of a construction permit. But it could mean anything from yeah, that renovation always... to uh, refurbishment. That, they're probably just refurbishing. It's just, just, yeah. just they do this all the time. Mm hmm. But there is one update that's been a long time coming. Mickey's Phil Hall Magic. Yeah, they're, they're adding Coco for some reason. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, yeah, I, I'm down. I I could always look for more reasons to get on that uh, on that ride, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think they should have updated that 3D show a while ago. Like, add different randomized scenes, kind of like what they do with Star Tours. So. Yeah. Oh, you'll never know what songs you're gonna get. I think they're just adding that scene. I don't think they're gonna randomize it. I think they're just gonna make the uh, movie longer. Nope. Uh, 
Mm. I'm trying to remember. Is 3D movies and mainstream pretty much dead nowadays? No, they're still doing them. It's just they're not advertising as much. Ah. Because like I, I just recently tried to get a tickets for Black Widow. They still had times for 3D. I'm like, this is still a thing. Yeah. Ooh. I'll bet a lot of films take advantage of it anyway. And I'll bet you when we go to when, when we go see you in a few weeks, which is already passed by the time this episode goes out, there'll be 3D times for Space Jam. Oh yeah, you want to see that in theaters? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, then. Why the hell not? I've been to the movies already. Okay. By the time I see you, I'll, I'll been, have been there twice. Boy, oh. Oh, yeah, they showed out that clip of the Matrix scene, and... I'm convinced this movie's come, becoming one of those answers to Kingdom Hearts, basically. Yeah, it's basically turned into Roger Rabbit, the way it's been structured. Mm-hmm. Although I think now if they do a third Space Jam after the, depending on how well this one does, they they should have a D Disney crossover. Hmm, that'd be interesting. That'd be the only way they could keep that fresh. Because if they did it again, like a third baseball basketball game, you can't you can't keep that up. Like the only I think the next tune. tune oh, sorry. Yeah, I think the only reason they're doing this is because they want to recap, make Lightning Strike twice from a '90s movie. But if you try to do it again, again, then you're gonna have to uh, keep it fresh somehow. And I think the next Looney Tunes movie after this is a courtroom drama parody written by James Gunn called Coyote vs. Acme. Oh, James Gunn's working on that? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, considering that, that he, he doesn't seem like he wants to do any more Guardians with the third one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or and, that Christmas special. Yeah, which will come out first. Yeah, most of the Marvel movies work better in threes anyway. Although mm -hmm. now we're getting a uh, Captain America four and a Thor. Only four. with a spoiler warning: a different Captain America. Uh well, we meant the the show. That show's only been over for a little while, so I'm, I might like put a uh, a censor over that. Mm -hmm. My thing with with spoilers: don't spoil like, the ending of a show from the same year. Like wait mm -hmm. a year at least. I didn't even watch this, sorry. I only know about that because of the comics she did not too long ago. Well, you should watch because that, that show actually was fantastic. Well, I did finish up The Mandalorian, and at least. Yeah, and the Marvel shows are shorter. Yeah, I'm planning on watching WandaVision next. Yeah, go and release Ooh. order. Hmm. WandaVision's the longest one, though. In terms of ah. episode count, at least. Oh boy. <laughs> Did you hear that cart that yeah. that the hollow the boom? I think that was those poles there. <laughs> Just I, boom, I hear that noise boom. right as soon as I hit somebody in the head. That, <laughs> <laughs> it's like hitting somebody oh, in the head with a Imagine they did a hardcore beat 'em up game. But all the fighting sounds are Hanna Barbera stock sound effects. You mean, you mean uh, post production when I uh, when I edit for the show? Yeah, exactly. I mean, for like, Christ's sake, remember when? I tried to find Kick when... in space, and it has that like running sound effect when a character is about to take charge arts away. I mean, for Christ's sake, when Sarah uh, butted Majima with the gun during that scene in Yakuza 0, I put a uh, bonk noise over it. Uh, I remember someone did an anime adaptation of Jekyll and Hyde, uh, where it had a similar process. Like, doing all the murder scenes, they thought they could uh, sugarcoat it by adding Hannah Barbera sound effects, but that was not the case. It was still as dark and gruesome as the book. Just funnier. Yeah. So wait, there's actually a there's actually a, a uh, adaptation of Jekyll and Hyde that has Hanna Barbera noises. Yeah, and a first murder scene where you see Jekyll's shadow of oh, just being someone to death. I 
And I, place I'm, the bonk sound. I'm curious. I need to see this. And you know the uh, the victim is dead because the next scene shows a kid with with a newspaper paper with a headline, "I murder or an alley." Well, this guy doesn't have a sofa, but oh, just as annoying. Oh. Oh, guy, that guy has a gun. Yeah, you got him. Uh, oh, pardon. Never kill the man. Oh yeah, and I also think that Space Jam movie is the first time uh, an actual Mexican is voiced in Speedy Gonzales. Yeah, and who better than Gabriel Iglesias? AKA Fluffy. <laughs> yeah, it's ironic that uh, the executives were worried that the Speedy Gonzales cartoons were racist, but a lot of uh, Mexican American uh, civil rights leaders actually view him very positively. A lot of Mexican people, period, love him. Mm hmm. Oh. 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 Oh, it's just gonna be like the sofa guy, only you don't get knocked down as easily. Yeah, he's basically the sofa man. Well, on a Bailey, she doesn't knock you down as easily. No. Well, I did buff my Just... stats a little bit in between episodes, but so that maybe that has something to do with it? Ah. Uh, oh. My turn with the bike. Buy scrub for two, and the rides are gonna be a uh, uh, skull in your spine. How long are you gonna keep running, huh? Damn it! Why you not give up? Snake flower triad. Hmm? Not even gonna bother giving this game guy a name, huh? Nope. The snake flower officer. Must be a really big fan of George O'Keefe. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, oh, so bicycle wheels break their guard. Oh uh, god, the gun you made when you uh, hit him with the wheel, it sounded like a fucking seal. I'll have to hear it again. <laughs> Did you hear it that time? Sort of? Isn't that what it sounds like? <laughs> I'd have to hear it one more time to be sure. Okay. Hey, what? you can always hear when you're recording. Oh. Almost got him! Let's make him go seal mode. There you go! Good, I was running out of options. 
You strong as ox. Tell me where Lau is before I show you how strong I really am. Implying he was holding back. Boss. He. Well, he. Beep. It just never ends with this guy. Get back oh, here. God. Catch the sun snake flower outfit. Oh, is this another one of those chase things? Come on, let me warrior shoulder bash you. Wah! Oh. Fuck! Hey, got kick. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck he go? There he is. Oh, fuck. Oh. Mm. Oh, so we both have health. Shit. Damn. I think you gotta get closer. Oh, fuck. Narrow ass. Shit! These narrow friggin' streets. There you go. Oh shit! Damn it! Oh fuck! There he goes. Yeah, the NPCs make it harder. Damn it! Lost him. Oh, stylish Q. Oh, shit. Almost got him. I'm not gonna try to in these narrow parts. I'll wait till he's out in the open again. Mm -hmm. Nope, here we go. Yeah! Where the? Phew! Finally done running, huh? Guess it's time to make you tell me the truth. Eep. Wait! Wait! I tell you everything! Boss is on the roof of building on Nakamichi Alley. You bent their rhythm. Damn it! I need to get over there. Snake flower. Oh god, these guys again. But that was easy. Now where? Oh. DVD secret chest. How secret is your chest? Why don't you come on and find out, big boy? Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 Oof. 
Ah, uh, uh, there's no heat with the pool. I don't think there is. I thought I was going to shove it up his ass like in Kiwami too. I think that might have been... Hmm. Shoddy pistol. He's got a shoddy pistol. Oh, going the wrong way. Oh, fuck. Oh, perfect. You're blocking oh, my boy. way, huh? Never bring a bicycle to a gunfight! <laughs> oh my god. Never killed a man. For a second, I almost. I thought that was a Wilhelm scream. Shit! Ah! Oh! Think you can defeat me? I have a reception sign, and I'm not afraid to use it. Well, I did. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't last long. How about a Yakiniku Hachisuke sign? No? Alright. Oh, thank god, they're dropping Gosh. hell stuff. Nope. Fine kick. Props to the actor who did that screen, that's really good. <laughs> I love that so much. Man, your scimitar wasn't shit. Especially not compared to a bicycle. A sturdy one at that. Oh, oh shit, for a second it froze. Oh, fuck. It's like this is the place. Step aside, Kazum Kazuya Mishima. Allow and I have a score to settle. Does he look like Kazuya? Da, 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 da. Oh shit, he does, especially that scar. Fine, guess I'll have to do this the hard way. In a match of Tekken. Snake Flower Triad! Do I still have the gun? I could have imitated my favorite scene from Indiana Jones. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about? Oh yeah. The guy that comes down with the sword, he swings it around, and then, mm -hmm. and then, and and then he, just, he shoots. just shoots him. Yes, that's one of the funniest scenes in that entire movie. It's one of my favorite scenes in a movie, period, actually.
Move. Oh shit! Book to his sword god with your bare hands. Kiryu's, through, Kiryu's been through a lot. He, uh, that, as if that would ever stop him. He defeated him. two tigers, after all. Yeah! Someone I never thought I would ever see. Ever. He beat the shit out of two tigers with nothing. Mm -hmm. Just... mm? Oh! I got to hear that scream again. I love that so much. I'm coming, Rakia. 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 Aniki. Aniki. Sasiburi da na. Oh, how I've missed you, Kazuma Kimio. We all went to a final talk, so I thought I'd know you out. I know what you're after. He has nothing to do with this. Let him go! You failed to understand. Oh my god. My jacket can for my pants. Don't ignore that. My alliance with Hamasaki has was for nothing but more than revenge on you. And that's why you got Ricky involved. Oh god. And he brought that back. And when he smacked the ground at me to Hammer Barbera Clang. No, let us put an end to this at last, Kashima Kiryu!